thanks for stopping by. Thank you. Take a seat. Nice place you got here, by the way. Yeah, I guess you could say that. But you should see the one we have in Florida. Anyways, I got another guy coming in 10 minutes. You got the shoes, right? Yeah, bro. I got them right here. Much better in person than I expected. They're nice, right? Yeah, this is a solid edition. I really like them. Thank you for hooking me up. A hundred? We agreed on 200. Wait, what do you mean? You said 100, right? We literally agreed on 200 over the phone an hour Actually, ago. show me where I said that. I do not see that anywhere. You want to tell me something? How am I supposed to show you? It's not like I recorded the call. Oh, well, I guess. I mean, even 200 is a great price. These shoes literally go for 260 online. You see this box? You see it? Does this, does this look like $200? Because I think this is a $100 box. Because this thing takes away at least half the value. It's all ripped up, huh? It's crap. What am I going to do with this, huh? Stupid. I mean, I get that, but half seems kind of harsh. Could we maybe do like... Nah, no more. Just leave, get in your bike, take the $100 bill, and go. I can't believe I screwed this up, man. I'm sorry. Don't worry about it. From what you told me, that kid was a cheat. Next time in a situation like that, just say no deal. You're right, man. I messed up. But are you really not mad about the 100 No, it's fine, man. We'll make it up. You should have seen this kid, though. Why do you say that? This kid had a huge house, was rocking some Supreme Box logo, had some crazy watch on him, yet he still screwed us over. Forget about it. It's stupid, man. What? I don't know. It's just I actually have to work to get things myself. While he has everything handed to him, he comes from money. Whatever, man. <sighs> have you seen this before? No, I actually haven't. They're weird though. Are they supposed to be like all ripped like this? Yeah, they're actually hand painted to look like that. They're Nigels. That's cool. Yeah, they're nice, right? I actually even got a buyer lined up for them. He wanted to see them in person this weekend, but I actually got to go up to Boston to visit some colleges. Could you possibly take care of these for me? Yeah, sure, but you sure you trust me with him? Yeah, of course. Just remember, you got to take at least 500 on these. If he's going lower than that, it's not worth it, just leave it. Yeah, of course, I got it, bro. Hey, you're Sal, right? Hey, what's up? You must be Sean. Yep. How you doing? I'm good. I got the Nigels for you. You got the cash for me? Of course I do. Can I take a look? For sure. Damn, these are really nice. How much do I owe you? Um, 650.
Man, those are beautiful shoes, but they're not worth 650. Come on, bro. 650 is a great price. Let's try 450. At 450, I'm gonna be losing money. Bro, really? How much you making on these? I do well. Listen, man. I'm trying to help you out. How much? I don't know, like a couple hundred a month. You don't seem too enthusiastic about it. Well, that's one way to put it. Man, I get it. I used to sell shoes too. All this hassle for a slim margin. So you don't still sell shoes? I sell weed instead. It's way better money. Really? It can't hurt anyone. And moving it around is really easy, especially when you got something like this. Bro, you're not gonna believe what happened. I've never seen this excited before. What's up? Remember the deal you sent me to do last week? Yeah, what about it? So I know you wanted at least 500 cash leads, but I actually came back with something better. Really? What? I got an opportunity. An opportunity? Hell yeah, bro. I got an opportunity that's gonna make us a lot of money. Okay, so we'll get to it already. What is it? Okay, so instead of the five flat, I brought back 340 and some new stuff. Okay, cool. What shoes did you get in the tray? 340 and some weed. 340 and some what? You traded the sneakers for weed? Yeah, I did. What were you thinking? You better not have brought that crap here. Okay, bro, so just let me explain what happened. Basically, I was meeting with this kid you sent me to, to sell the Nigels. And then we started digressing, we started talking. He said he actually started the way we did. And he was just flipping shoes like us every now and then making a few bucks on each shoe. But then he discovered something more profitable, which was weed. Shut the hell up. I don't want to hear that word come out of your mouth one more time. Like, what the hell is wrong with you? Like, seriously, are you retarded? Are you high right now? No. Well, you sound like you are. I mean, I mean, how can you even suggest that? You know what kind of trouble we can get into? You want to mess up our future just for some extra cash? I mean, it could be a hell of a lot more than just some extra cash. Shut the hell up, you goddamn idiot. We aren't dealing drugs. Period. All right. We won't. Yeah, what's good? Oh, what's up, bro? You got the cash? Let me see the product first. Gotcha. Alright. Here you go. 300 isn't gonna cut it. You know what I put in there. It's either 600 or I take the box back. Alright, relax. I can do 400. Like I said, 600 or I keep the box. Come on, I know you can do a better price than that. Drop it, just a little bit. I already told you, 600 or no deal. Oh my god. Fine, fine. these fat stacks. You were right about this whole weed thing. Yeah. Nice. Bro, if it wasn't for you, I wouldn't be able to get the shoe. I'm getting these next week. This is the holy grail for me. That's it? That's your grail? Yeah, what's the matter? Are you serious? Are you seriously happy? You've been working your ass off for three weeks and you can only buy yourself one pair of nice shoes. I mean, yeah. You know what? Screw those shoes. Screw the weed, we should be selling this. Bro, are you serious? 
Do you know what this is? Of course I do. You know how th this could kill somebody. And that's not our issue. I want nothing to do with this. Take it. All right. The choice is yours. The door's right there. Hey man, you okay? Yeah, I got the the cash for the force. Here you go. Um, okay. Uh, I guess I'll see how much I owe you. By the way, uh, you've been moving a lot of inventory. Nice job. Yeah, um, I guess. Um, I really gotta go. Big calc test to study for. Nervous? Yeah, a little. Well, good luck, man. Oh, hey, Ollie. Oh, hey, Mr. Collins. How's it going? I'm doing good. And by the way, great job with that scholarship you got. That's awesome. Thank you very much. Uh, no problem. And do you have that term paper I signed you last week? Oh, of course. Uh, let me just find it. Is everything okay? Um, yeah. Um, just give me one second. Take your time. Yo, Sean, what's up? Yeah, what about the deal? What are you talking about you didn't get the coke? I put in the box. The Gucci box, the one you gave me. Bro, I have no idea where it is. I put in that box. If it's not there, then I don't know. No, I didn't steal it. Are you kidding me? I wanted nothing to do with that crap in the first place. What makes you think I would have stolen it? Okay, bro. Calm down, okay? I didn't steal it. I have no idea where it is. I swear I didn't take it. Hey, what's up? Just take it and get the hell out of my face. I never want to see you again. Bro, what are you talking about? This stuff isn't even mine. I've never seen this before. Just shut up! Just stop! You don't understand, man. Just let me explain. What? The fact that you've been dealing drugs behind my back? The fact that you lied to me? Or maybe it's the fact that you almost got me arrested. Okay, man. I'll admit it. I used the shoes to sell weed. But I never wanted anything to do with this coke. And I never wanted to involve you. Oh, you didn't? Oh, you didn't? Well, thanks for your consideration. I really appreciate it. You were holding me back. I was just trying to make us more money. If you don't want that, it's not my problem. Look at you. Fancy jacket, shiny belt, expensive shoes. You got them in sneakers. All you are is a lowlife, scumbag, pathetic drug dealer.